what's up guys then my ear for simple snippets and i'm back with another video tutorial on c++ programming and fundamentals so in this video tutorial we'll see a program wherein we'll perform swapping of two variables using a third variable so let's see the program so i've typed in the basic structure so go ahead and open up your id and type in the program as follows it's better that you type in yourself so that you get a good practice okay so what we have to do is we have to first create two variables so i'll create two variables int x and y now here we won't be taking values from the user i'll just hard code them and by hard code i mean that i assign the values myself instead of taking it from the user dynamically so i assign x as 5 and y as 6 so i'll print the result that is before swapping x is equal to the value of x and y is equal to the value of y so let me just go ahead and quickly run this program so i'll click compile and run Okay, so as you can see, I've got the result. So it's showing me the values of x and y before swapping. So I need to print this results again after swapping. So I'll just copy and paste it for right now. Now in this part, we have to actually perform the swapping. Now I cannot directly write x is equal to y. I mean I can actually write it but then this won't be correct because in this case x will be assigned the value of y and y is 6 so x will be 6 in this case. So what ha what will happen is the initial value of x which is which was equal to 5 will be overwritten with the new value of 6. So now I cannot write y is equal to x because that would essentially mean y is equal to 6 because just one line above we change the value of x to 6. So the previous value or the initial value is not retained in this case. So that is the reason why we need a third variable in order to perform a swapping. So what I'll do is I'll create another variable as temp so this is a temporary variable that's why I named it temp what I'll do is I'll first take the value of x inside temp and remember always the assignment is done from right to left that is the value of x goes to the variable temp so the RHS is assigned to the LHS now since I have taken the value of x inside the temporary variable named temp, now I can change the value of x to y and I can change the value of y to temp. What happens in this case is temp becomes 6, sorry temp becomes 5. Here what happens is x becomes 6 and in this case y becomes 5 notice these two lines and the results of these two lines are in the comments so x is 6 and y is 5 initially it was 5 and 6 now they are 6 and 5 that is we have successfully swapped these two values so let's see if this logic has worked I'll just save it and I'll again compile and run. Okay, great. As you can see, the value of x and phi initially was phi and 6, but after swiping, it became 6 and phi. 
So this is it. It was pretty simple, right? That's it for this video. This was a pretty short program, but then I thought I should include this so that you understand how to actually perform a swapping in programming perspective. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when we upload the next video. Peace.